Hello class, this is section 3.6 and we are going to discuss transient and steady periodic solutions. So we have a mass spring system with all the information given. We have a mass of 1, a friction coefficient of 3, a spring coefficient of 2, and an external force. So let's write down our equation. Mass is 1, so the x double prime term is just 1. Friction coefficient is 3. Spring coefficient is 2, and our external force is cosine 4t over 7. This is our equation. Our first step is to figure out the homogeneous solutions. In other words, we look first at the equation with the right hand side 0. And we know how to do this, so making our usual substitution, x equals ERT, this is equivalent to solving R squared plus 3R plus 2 equals 0. And we can use the quadratic formula to determine that we have 9 minus 8 over 2, and therefore this is just going to be minus 3 plus minus 1 over 2. So r is either going to be minus 2 or minus 1. So we have our little, uh, so this is clearly going to be the overdone case. And our complementary solution, the solution for homogeneous equation, is just going to be Sorry, it's just going to be C1 times E to the minus 2t plus C2 E to the minus t. Alright, and then now we need to figure out the solution for this non homogeneous equation, one solution, to get the general solution. And uh, we use undetermined coefficients here. And what we do is that we see that we have a cosine 4t on the right hand side. And so we guess that xt is going to be of the form a cosine 4t plus b sine 4t. We take the first derivative to get minus 4a sine 4t plus 4b cosine 4t and we take the second derivative and what we get is minus 16a cosine 4t minus 16b sine 4t all right, and our equation is x double prime plus 3x prime plus 2x. So we have x double prime times 3x prime plus 2x. And all of this, oh, this is going to be 1, of course. 1, this, 3, that, 2 of the x, and all this this equals 1 over 7 times cosine 4t. So let's collect the cosine and the sine terms. And the cosine terms are 2 times a, 3 times 4b, and 1 minus 16a and we have also a 1, 7 in the right hand side. Our sine terms are going to be 2 times b, 3 times minus 4a, 
1 times minus 16b. There's no sign on the right-hand side, so that's just going to be equal to 0. And this gives us a system of two equations, minus 14a plus 12b equals 1 over 7, minus 12a minus 14b equals 0. Let's label these equations 1 and 2. And from 2, we immediately get a relation between a and b. So b is just going to be equal to minus 6 over 7a. And plugging that in to the first equation, not the third, the first equation, we get that minus 14a minus 72 over 7a equals 1 over 7. And multiplying with 7, we get minus 98a minus 72a equals 1, or minus 170a equals 1, a equals minus 1 over 170. And some calculation will get that b is equal to minus 6 over 7, minus 1 over 170. And these are multiplied together. And that's going to be equal to 3 over 595. And that's our a and b. So right now, we can write our general solution as x equals c1 e minus 2t plus c2 e minus t plus minus 1 over 170 cosine 40 plus 3 over 595 sine 40. And in this case, remember that as t goes to infinity, this goes to 0, and this goes to 0. Our steady periodic solution is just going to be minus 1 over 170 cosine 40 plus 3 over 595 sine 4t. We're going to calculate the transient solution in the next video since this one has already gone a little long, but we already have the general solution and the steady periodic solution here.